sail, beautiful people. So, it's nearly the end of Blue Lunar Storm Year, and we're moving into Yellow Electric Seed, hence a bit of yellow. Um, so, the day before is the day out of time. So, we're going to look at the day out of time. It's actually also the day I left the UK and the set sail for France, and I landed at the beginning of Blue Lunar Storm. But the day before the day before the day before the day before out of time is also the first of the full moons. And also when we get to the yellow electric seed year, there's that giant void. So let's just see what we get with the day out of time, first of all. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to use them runes again and see if there's room for some rune. There we go, we got one, we got one. We don't want to push it. Oh, look, it's ice. Isa. <clears throat> it's like going back to the beginning. Day out of time. What are you hanging on to? What, what of the last year, in the day out of time, review your year and work out what are you holding on to that you don't need to hold on to anymore? interesting so let's have a little bit of odin <gasps> so we've got two cards we've got madur the the energy coming from this card is about celebrating you i'm i am it's that energy of being in your own space but being in Elfamir. So this is like a day out of time. It's a little bit like the void, of course, moon. It's like the whole day is a free day to explore you. So that's the 25th of July. I might have like a personal party that day, just for me, for getting through a whole year without being in the UK. So, day out of time from the mystical shaman, what are the energies you're bringing with this wonderful light energy? I mean, it's really, the energy is really playful. It's like you've got to celebrate the day out of time. What else do we have, please? They've gone very... Now, oh, there's two. Oh, it's a magical spiral. Dun, dun, dun. So, spiral, fractals. So, it's, it's like going into an air void. Um, but there's something about it that's um, talking about magic in the air. That's interesting. So it's 50 and 33. So we've got that sense of needing to change. And then we've got the, to change the 3D world in which you live in. But to do that, you've got to plug in to the joy of heaven. And it is about bringing this down, bringing, binding new frequencies onto the version of your DNA structure that you want to take with you to the new year. It, it's about cleaning up. It's like a day of spring cleaning. Clean your house. You know, smudge the space that you live in on the 25th. Get a broom. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I'm going to ask for a tail end rune and then we'll put some tarot on it. Oh, I'm bending all the rune cards now and they've not even been, you know, fully drawn on. Oh, look. It's harvest. It's uh, it's the one we got the other day, cracking open the heart. I sat right here, it's the same symbol. You've got to open something in your heart on the day out of time to move forwards into yellow electric seed. Yellow electric seed is, this is the seed that's being pierced by ice. So there's a sense of withdrawing 
the things that you don't need take out the take out the things from your seed that are not worth growing this year interesting so let's get some tarot on it i'm feeling a lot of warmth suddenly might be because i baked a pie I haven't eaten it, I've just baked it, but it's out of the oven, so maybe it's warming up the room. It's been a bit nippy here in the Algarve at night. So. Yeah, I, all I could hear all the way through that shuffle was, I am, I am, I am, Nine of Pentacles, Sovereign. I am sovereign of my own soul. I move my energy forwards. This is Venus in Virgo. Venus gets into Virgo quite soon, but it's gonna be a really hairy, scary ride because Venus is not is not comfortable in Virgo. Um, and so there's that additional need to really force your energy into the Virgo period, but it is about coming into independence. It's kind of this, it's the magic that's taking place in the 3D. So what else have you got to say? What else have you got to say? About the day out of time, a day out of time. Okay, so there's esoteric adjustments. We've got the moon and justice. What does that mean? Well, it means that only you know the answers to your things. So they're saying the full moon is a full moon of endings. So you've kind of got to be ahead of the day out of time with what are you hanging on to? What's corrupting your seed for the new year? Your yellow electric seed. I want to say what makes you feel sad. Um, don't take it with you. If something is not giving you joy, it's not worth carrying into the new year. Because yellow electric seed is about solar plexus happiness. It's about birthing new happiness. So yeah, there's something about the, the, the scarab beetle at the bottom is actually carrying the yellow electric seed, uh, which is a sunshine, but it's carrying it and scarab beetles represent magic works through you. The magic is here. The magic works through you. The magic amplifies inside you if you can trust the decisions that you're making to move forwards. And what's the card here? Oh, look, it's the lovers. It's about co-creating, co-creating with spirit. I'm laying these cards so that the sovereignty comes in with the I'm, I am. You know, I am sovereign. I am sovereign of my own thought process. So then I've put the next with uh, plugging in and bringing the energy down. That's the esoteric. That's this card is sitting between those. So the Elfamir, the Elven are bringing the light. What is the light? So the light is the yellow electric seed. It's the new frequency. Then we have the adjustments, but the adjustments to the light are coming across as a kind of massive expansion a deep a fractal it's like choose the little thing and over the course of the year the cosmos promises to heal and expand on the things that you choose to carry forwards and then the co-creation with that magical new energy is what comes with the card of the lovers to co-create make decisions choose wisely what you wish to harvest so we just need one more tarot card to go with magic and harvest one more please no I'm not taking two one more please one more please that one's bounced and snapped look it's the seven of pentacles it's about the failure of the harvest. Do you want to maintain that failure of the harvest or do you want to make the harvest matter? So they're talking about how to make this harvest happen, 
you have to go to your roots to the shadows to the nutrients and you have to pull up that energy this is dark peacock frequency it's saturn in in taurus um saturn and uh saturn is at home in aquarius um but also in taurus at the moment is gaia uranus who's going to go retrograde on the 20th so that's part of yellow electric cg but those two planets are almost kind of you know, tipping each other a wink at the moment so there's something about understanding what has failed and is no longer needed so don't hang on to it you can be sovereign of a new physical world and what has failed in the past that can only work now that you move forwards into yellow electric cg it's it's that it's a making a decision the lover's card is gemini frequency it's a decision in its original sense it wasn't about falling in love and this isn't really in this case falling in love this is about co-creating with spirit there's a cosmic egg at the bottom it's talking about a new energy but you have to choose what you wish that new energy to be so now let's look at yellow electric seed um i am going to do uh, some separate readings on yellow electric seed for each sign because it's a new cosmic year and we need to know where each sign's going not each sign as such each each zodiac house so that you can look for whatever planets you've got in there and see how that affects you so yellow electric seed as it opens on the 26th what do we have <laughs> shadows because th this is this is the interesting thing the yellow electric seed cannot grow if it's not buried in the shadows because that's where a seed grows from it grows from the shadows so that's 10 it's a completion and a new beginning it's nid oh look this always makes me think of the sun and the moon it's making me think of day and night it's making me think of this card the gemini lovers card of balance it's talking about how the sun energy will grow this giant yellow electric seed look the sun is a yellow electric seed in many ways and then you have to sacrifice something at the beginning it's almost they're saying to me it's like yellow electric seed year begins and about eight hours into it suddenly there's this void and the void is like an extension of the day out of time that is interesting because ordinarily the day out of time is just one day but look this void that's coming is 44 hours and 55 minutes that's seriously the longest void i've ever witnessed i mean the last long void that we did the reading on was the one my dad died in so uh this one i'm not having any more of that <laughs> i'm not doing that anymore everyone has to stay alive so what have we got earth keeper so this is about us and our relationship to the earth plant something on the in the void plant something doesn't matter what it is you need to plant some <laughs> plant something they're saying to me get seeds everybody gets seeds it's yellow electric seed year you have to plant seeds in the void in the void to make a difference and you can put energy into those seeds you can put aspirations and hopes into those seeds and you can grow them look you could just grow a salad and eat it but you could grow a tree whatever it is plant seeds in the void you need to make use of it you need to push magical wishes forwards so that there's no more failure but only growth so that was interesting hunter and the witness okay so it's like it's like stop looking 
and be certain. The hunter is the old energy of confusion, of not knowing what we want, of this seven of pentacles, of the failure. You're moving towards yellow electric seed, which is about removing this hunter energy. It's a very raw masculine energy and it's coming into sort of emotional feminine energy to just witness, to just see, to watch the flow of something. And it's nine and ten. It's moving us from a divine energy to a completion and a new beginning. And again, we've got ten here. We've also got nine here, nine, nine. It's one step away. The magic, this magic is just one tiny yellow electric seed away from new growth so let's get some tarot on these lovely juicy cards so the shadows and the sun what's the shadows and the sun all about what's the shadows and the sun all about that one did a spinner eight pentacles look we've got a lot of pentacles here this this new year yellow electric seed is very much about our physical world that we live in they have a lot of very noisy mopeds here they also got stinky fumes like they're running on cooking oil so this is sun in virgo it's again i i virgo season is going to be huge but this is the sun in virgo you've got the sun in virgo clear your shadows look at some of your shadows and clear them before virgo season because virgo season could be <laughs> could be traumatic could be difficult so you kind of, you really do need to do a little bit of a spring clean, not just of the house you live in, but of your inner house. <laughs> Get, I'm getting this real sense of, uh, do it now. It's a stitch in time saves nine. It's going back to that non ring. Do it now or the price gets more expensive. <laughs> it's a bit like trying to rent a house in Portugal. So, uh, we've got the soul and tear. Oh, look, there's something from the past coming. There's an old energy, a reunion. Someone's coming back. I need more on that because I don't like saying that. Because I don't like all that old rubbish. It feels like someone not from this lifetime someone coming back from another lifetime in another galaxy whatever it is this is not someone you had a row with coming back and going i'm sorry it's not that's not what this is about this is about someone who's an old and i'm getting the sense that when you meet one of you has sacrificed something for the other and it's not about them coming back and saying, remember when we lived in, you know, wherever, you did this. It's not about that. It's about a balancing. It's about bringing something into a new energy, an adjustment. It's all there. That's really weird. So someone's coming back for everyone. I don't know. I don't know. So, Tia, to sacrifice the Earth Keeper. Tia and the Earth Keeper. What's Tear and the Earth Keeper got going on? What's Tear and the Earth Keeper got going on? More sun. Passions. This is like an explosion. It is magma -ray. You know, look. This is, it's looking a lot like this card, to be honest. I'm getting a sense of the ancient ones. But I think the Ancient Ones is connected to this, this Six of Cups. There's someone ancient, I don't mean, <laughs> don't mean old on a Zimmer frame. I mean, <laughs> like someone you've known from ancient times. It could be in the future, but it's in your past in ancient times. But there's somebody coming in. They're just going on about there's somebody coming. 
So, uh, the there's a sacrifice of mm, this Earth Keeper energy. I'm not. This is confusing me. Uh, there's um, that sense of a burning desire. But it's like a burning desire of, of, of not, I don't want to say like, kind of like war, lusty kind of stuff. I mean, it's like a burning desire to, uh, that inspires an intellectualizing of a new thought process. And it's really humane. There's a real energy of kindness. So let's have a look at Earth Keeper and Hunter. Because the, the earth feels like we've hunted the life out of it. Earth Keeper and Hunter. Oh, look, it's coming back to this. It's the heart. All air energy leads to the unlocking of the heart. Everything is focused on the heart coming together. Every single pathway, every single line. This is Mercury in Aquarius. That's going to take place in yellow electric seed here. There's a sense of the electric seed being boxed in somehow and it needs to come out of the box. But it's not like thinking outside the box because that's what this is doing. This is passions outside of the box. Passions as in desires for intellectualizing, not passions as I said before, not rutty passions. So there's something about hunting around for a new notion. We know the new notion is to witness, is to move into an emotional feminine energy. But there's something here that's about thinking outside the box, but throw the box away. Because if you just think inside the box, you're still trapped in the box. Because they're showing me, and there's the bell telling you that's the truth. There's a yellow electric seed in this card and it's boxed in and the, the swords are trying to pierce through to the cross at the centre. The cross represents your heart chakra. So, Hunter and Witness, 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 Hunter and Witness. There we go. Ooh, you see? <laughs> Not anything to do with lust, like I said. It's to do with strength. It's to do with, oh, you look, it's it's a perfect representation of this. The hunter is that raw masculine frequency. And then the witness is the emotional feminine sitting on top. And that doesn't mean like, you know, women are gonna get older men and hold them down and chain them up. It's within all of us. We've all got both those frequencies in us. But so the energy is to find strength, renewed strength, they're saying renewed strength. You have to find renewed strength. That's the bear. The bear is our own power. But the bear feels like it's being grizzly. It needs to wake back up. Okay, so now the void itself. This 44 hour, 55 minute void. I will do another reading on those, as I said, for each house. So don't panic. This is just a little, you know snifter so that we can get an idea of what's coming i need to push those cards up they're all slightly in the way i'm running out of space so the void 44 hours and 55 minutes can we please have a rune for the void can we please have a rune for the void there goes another cooking oil scooter can we please have... Oh, look, that one's gone and it's uh, sticking in my leg. It's the yew tree. It's the trunk. It's our core. Working on the core. This is a card of magic. The yew tree is magic. Yo! It's the card of yo! So... I feel like I need to calm down slightly. I'm getting a bit overexcited here. So the, the yew tree, uh, I did a cleansing on a house recently and the, this card came up and it was, what do you need to do? Turned out that in that house, there was a stump, tree stump, a piece of trunk. It wasn't yew, but the point was it was talking about the, the trunk 
and this trunk was very very distorted uh, a woman who'd been deeply sad had used it to meditate on but there was also a frequency that the tree itself had been used to string somebody up on once so it was uh, we moved it and all the energies of the house changed so it's core energy the magic of the tree the you and yous are also dealing with so they're talking about how it's sacral and heart chakras but both heart chakras the lower green heart of the earth of the earth keeper and then the higher pink heart chakra so odin and the nine realms what do you want to give about the void what do you want to say about the void what do you want to say about the void oh it's heavenly <laughs> You see, weirdly, they're showing me this with walls falling down. Uh, unblock your trunk. Unblock your core energy in the void. What else do you want to talk about in the void, Odin? Emotional trappings. You've got to clear out emotional trappings. Here is Ran. And... Do you know, she always used to be like the high priestess. She's throwing in it to catch things. But at the moment, every time I see her, she's, she's shaking everything out. She's trying to get all the sticky emotions to come off. It's a little bit like, uh, Olga, what's the name of that sticky plant you had on your arms? Steva. Steva. It's a Portuguese plant in this earth. Steva. Steva. Yeah, Shteva. And she stuck it on her arm because it's got so much resin. And it never came off. It's still stuck on her arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Here it is. The very thing. I showed you this in a video. It's, oh, God, it's so delicious. But look. What emotions in your lower heart chakra stuck? Well, mine arm, they all fell off, see? <laughs> Anyway, let's move on, because we want to get this done before I wet myself. <laughs> right, so, what are we... Hey! It's a time master. It's time. You've got time in the void. That's really interesting. He's always now comes across as sort out your past and you can fix your future. That's exactly what this is. Look. The shadows of what you're hanging on to in your core, in your core, I didn't put uh, one of these at the end, needs to be cracked open into a new harvest for the new year. So it's about clearing your future gateway by looking at the shadows of the past and letting go and stopping hanging on to them. So, hello, Mr. Time Master. I had the Time Master t-shirt on and I changed it because I wanted yellow electric seed. So we got a little bit of Shiva Las Vegas. So, Time Master and, oh, there's one down there, Pachamama. It's interesting because she is the re-emergence of the soul somehow. She comes across as the connection of us within the earth. When you connect with the earth keeper, when you witness the magic that's all around things when you get into these frequencies you bec your soul grows oh and that's what this is till we get there in the end so there's something about your soul growing there's also they're showing me a, a particular planetary alignment and it's mars uh Pluto, the moon, and Jupiter. I don't know what day that is. But Mars does, Mars is going to move past uh, Pluto next year. After it does that, there's some significant point where Mars is about to go into conjunction with Jupiter and the moon will be with will be in conjunction with pluto ha, i don't know when that is 
some beautiful people on here will dig into that and let us all know and that'll be really exciting to whittle that down to a day but that's what they're telling me we have to look out for that's the soul expansion period so there was another series of five cards that fell out but i'm not reading those because that's too many we're going to go to the runes to end oh no we haven't done any tarot ah so tarot so the trunk and asgard the yew tree in asgard the magic of the tree with asgard that's the healing it's the star frequency okay so here we've got something to do with venus there's something really significant about venus pouring down energy okay come on tell me when 17th 17th of what august or 17th of september 17th of september no we let's see what comes they're talking about 13 moons with the trunk as well 17th 17th of the 9th they've been very clear is a magical moment so the 17th of september has got some kind of emotional healing expansion 17th of september we do love to be pinned down to a prediction <laughs> right now look we need to do ran and the time master ran and the time master it's emotions again it's it's shaking free the emotions balancing everything twisting everything it's she's they're showing me on this card how her reflection in the river is is distorted so this is the past and the reflection is the future being distorted by the past and so ran is shaking her net free of all the sticky steva emotions the resin covered stickiness that we need to release and that will bring us to the horizon line of the now we've got to fix our mirrors so time master and pachamama there we go end of oppression by october by october by mm. right by october the oppression needs to end there, it, it's like the void is giving you a time period to release everything and then you have to have faith in the healing coming on the 17th of the 9th shaking free the emotions using heaven we've got two of the cards of heaven we've got asgard 12 frequency heaven and we're still in a 12 frequency year in terms of the normal way in which we do the metonic cycles but we've got elfamir and we've got asgard all we're lacking is uh vanahamir and vanahamir feels like an energy of next year coming in the change 2022 is going to be interesting because it's a six and it's a balancing year so let's go to the runes to end so can we have please a little card at the end oh do you know what i don't want to read this card because it's your community rune and now i need to say what i think it means <laughs> and i i was thinking <laughs> before i came today i was like i shouldn't use those because that card will come out and then i'll have to explain so this card comes between the sun and the night and it's actually a card that's linked to time it's linked to the sun it's linked to shadows and it's basically a kind of time when solstice all right i've said it now i've said it i've spoiled the game on on this one to me the energy they're giving i'm not saying that's the correct interpretation 
but they keep telling me it's to do with solstice. It's a moment in time when things change. So here we're looking at the December solstice. That's interesting because they've been drawing me to the they've been drawing me to the moon the lunar eclipse in November with these two cards and I was trying to ignore that because I was like that doesn't need to be there yet so it's also a time when people come together this card to me rather amusingly is not just solstice but what happens at a solstice is communities gather and to me it feels like this energy of the solstice coming is going to be a huge energy of gathering it's like all the shoots of everybody's yellow electric seeds will start to come out of the ground and bring together a new frequency so that's just a little you know manic moment as this year begins and i will do a much calmer <laughs> flow of each house sign star and you can go through them and they'll come in the next few days i'll also do a uh, full moon on the 26th because remember the next two full moons are all in aquarius and there's a lot of magic going on plus we've got the day out of time yellow electric seed and then this kind of void out of time so lots to play for lots to do get a book and do your homework okay so have a lovely evening. Wassail. Bye.